It's only mid-January and I already did some spending. So let's see what I got in this haul. Hello my friends, Jetron is here. I did a little shopping. Is that something new? Not really. It's only been one month since 2022 and I already did some damage. So with that being said, let's show you guys what I recently bought. First item on the list is from Chanel. Yes, you love Chanel. I love Chanel. Everyone loves Chanel. This item here, it is a limited edition item. It is a makeup item. And of course, I bought it for the packaging. Now here's a quick look at the box. It does have the sort of red little camellia opening up the ribbon. <laughs> so cute this box is very different because usually whenever i buy chanel makeup items it usually comes with like the box in the top so this is very interesting because it just comes in this little paper thingy <laughs> looks weird <laughs> um anyways so here it is this here is the new lip balm from chanel let me quickly unbox this this is the new chanel rouge coco lip balm in the color 912 called dreamy white it does retail for $42 USD and it does come in seven shades. Look at the packaging, you guys. Look at the packaging. It is so pretty. I, there's just something about white and gold. It's very classic, I have to say. If you're not familiar with Chanel's original lip balm, this is what it looks like. This is the black packaging with the gold accent. It's an okay lip balm, in my opinion. The only reason why I bought this one is just because of the packaging. Again, it is very pretty. And if you are a collector of Chanel or luxury makeup, up, I definitely think you should definitely pick this up because we don't really see white packaging with gold accent all the time so this is a nice treat for me now I don't think I am going to do a test swatch of 912 yet just because I do want to take pictures of it but based from pictures online I do think this color is a bit more it seems like it's a little bit more sheer it does have more of like a pearlescent finish to it compared to the original I think the original is just clear it's just a nice glossy finish did I need to buy this? No, but as a Chanel collector, a makeup collector, I do think this is pretty to look at on your vanity. You know, use it here and there. So I'm glad I have both and they're kind of like yin and yang. <laughs> so there we have it. Moving on, we have something from Dior. Yes, Dior has just been killing it. I don't know what it is. Their packaging and just like their overall presentation, I have really been loving. Gotta love Dior. This is the box for spring 2022. And yeah, let's see what I got. All right, popping the box open. <laughs> Now, obviously I already took the stuffing out because ain't nobody got time. Here it is. This is the new Dior lipstick or lip balm. Let me quickly open this box. Boom. So here it is. Ah! Here is the new Dior lip balm or lipstick from the spring 2022 limited edition collection. This does retail for $45 USD and there are eight shades to pick from. Obviously, I pick the clear lip balm in the color 000 Dior Natural. And just looking at it, obviously the packaging, I just bought it for the packaging because it is so gorgeous. It does have the iconic houndstooth motif all over it. And I do believe this is what Dior was known for in the early 1930s. They weren't the first ones, but they included this houndstooth and it became more popular because of it. I do love the history behind that. Yeah, it's very iconic. Now, what's interesting about this lipstick bullet is the texture of it when you touch it it does feel like it's a piece of cloth but really it's made from like aluminum i do like that it kind of mimics the fabric print of it when you open the lipstick case ah uh, this was a seller for me so i don't know if you can see it but you guys look at the design oh, so pretty so obviously they did incorporate the houndstooth design onto the lipstick and it says dior i think it is so cute <laughs> I don't even want to use it. I, I may not use it because I feel like this is just a collector's item. Now giving it a quick sniff, it smells just like the Dior lipstick or lip balm. It has like a powder scent to it. Not my favorite, but this is too pretty. I just had to buy it. Now quickly, I do want to mention the original Dior lip balm. This is in the color 000 Dior Natural as well. This does retail for $38 USD. So it is $7 less than the limited edition one. However, the difference between this and this is that this has more of a satin finish and this has 
more of a velvet matte finish. So I do appreciate that they didn't just put the original formula into the new packaging and then up the price. It is a little bit different between the two, even though they're both clear lip balms. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to do any test swatches on both because I still need to take pictures of both of them for my Instagram. But maybe later in the future, I might do a test swatch of these lip balms. So obviously come back for that if you want to see how they both look. Now sticking along the theme of Dior, I had to buy another item from Dior. Now this item I didn't order from the Dior website because they don't offer it here in the US. I had to order it through another online retailer called Harrods. I do believe Harrod is like a UK European retailer. But taking out of the box, here it is. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Boom! Here it is. This here is the new Dior Forever Perfect Cushion. This is a foundation cushion and it does retail for $61 USD. When I bought it though, it was only $58. So they did hike up $3 more, which is kind of interesting. I had to pay for shipping because shipping is not free. I paid $30. So in total, I paid $93 for this cushion compact. Very expensive, I know. But it is a limited edition item. It is a collector item it is gorgeous I had to buy it quick information about this cushion compact it is 24 hour long wear it does have a luminous matte finish so that is nice for my oily skin people and it does have an SPF of 35 or PA plus 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 following along the theme of the lipstick bullet here it does have the houndstooth print as you can see the difference between this packaging and the cushion packaging is that this feels like cloth like they actually you have a piece of cloth glued to it. Now if you didn't know, last year Dior did come out with a limited edition cushion compact as well, but it was in a different design. This here is the cushion compact from last year. It is in the oblique print. Very pretty. A lot of people went crazy over this. Now when I purchased this one, I did purchase it through an eBay seller. She was from Thailand, my home country. Yes, I am Thai. I paid like $120. I Ridiculous. I know. Psh. Don't tell no one. The oblique version was only exclusive to the Asian market from what I remember. I don't think it was exclusive to the Europeans, but I do think the houndstooth is exclusive to both Asian and European. I'm not sure why they don't have this in the United States. I'm pretty sure like people will buy this. I don't know. Maybe it's just one of those limited edition exclusive countries that they only carry. Now comparing the two side by side, as you can see, the oblique one is more of a cream beigey color and the houndstooth is literally black and white and also i did notice that the oblique fabric is a little bit more cushiony it feels more like a pillow versus the new one it's just it's like a hard surface i quickly want to mention the color range because it is like a slap in the face so they only have four colors to pick from i am in the color 2n and that is the darkest shade, which is like crazy. It just makes no sense that we are in 2022 and they only offer fair to light shades, okay? They don't even have medium to dark, which is out of this world. I, I don't know why. If Dior is watching, please make more shades. Moving on to some fashion items. And obviously Zara had a sale and you guys know when Zara has a sale, I buy something. <laughs> so here it is. Can you guess from the box what I got? Let's open it up. Ooh, let me tell you, it is so hard to do an unboxing. Like you just gotta take out the box. Ugh, anyways, so here it is. I got some boots, some ankle boots. And I do believe this is called the zipper ankle leather boots from Zara. I don't own any boots like these. I know, crazy, right? Because you would think I would own something like this, but I really don't. Now these retail for $129. I got it for $99, which, you know, I saved $30, better than paying the full price. I do think this is so classic and staple. I mean, you can definitely wear these with jeans or like dress up pants. It would look so chic, you know, with my Moto leather jacket. Mm chef kiss. I do love that this is full leather and also it has a zipper on the ankle side so it's so much easier to get in and out. I hate boots where it just has these stretchy bands. That's too much work. You know you gotta like put your feet in and uh. if you are curious I am a size 10 and it fits pretty well. I was a little concerned because the top portion is a bit narrow. If you do have wide feet and you are going to wear something like this make sure you wear like a thinner sock so your feet isn't so snug in. But overall I have to say these are some great purchases and I can't wait to wear these pretty soon. The next item here is very very 
very expensive. I cannot imagine someone paying full price for this because literally I could never do it. This here is from New Face and this is the box. I did take out the device already. Here is the device. Looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? This here is the New Face Trinity. It does retail for $300. $39 USD. So freaking expensive. I can't believe this little device is $300. But you guys know I don't pay full price for most of the items. I did wait for a sale and I got this at Ulta. They were having this one day sale. I got this for $170. So literally 50% off. I'm very happy I waited and I didn't pay the full price. Yay me. Now if you are curious what this little device is, it pretty much has micro current. So you pretty much just use it onto your face and it lifts tones, reduce wrinkles, fine lines. It helps with texture. Me being 30 now, I'm onto this like trying to preserve my youth because you know, when I'm 50, I want to look like I'm 30. You know what I'm saying? It makes me happy to look younger. Hopefully, you know, I'm going to see results. I did try it out already and I have to say the first couple times, let me tell you. Mm. It's like snatch. It's weird that you, you do see results within the first try. If you are interested in this device, please do not pay full price for it. I don't think it's worth $300. They do have sales here and there. I know the mini size version, I've seen it for $100 when it does go on sale, so that is good. For me, I went with the full size or the original because you can remove the head and use a different attachment to it, so I do like that feature. With the mini, you can't move the head. But hopefully this device is worth the purchase. Only time tell if this is going to work or not so come back in a year and i'll let you guys know what i think of this device the last two items here are from coach and sadly i decided i don't want to show you guys because i am going to debut it next week but as a sneak preview a little teaser here it is that's all the sneak preview you are going to get um can you guess what it is Leave in the comments down below if you know what these two items are based from looking at it. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to show you. I'm sorry. I know. Maybe a little clickbait. Come back next week. You'll see the whole thing. So there we have you guys. That is my quick little haul that I recently bought this month. And it's crazy because we're still not at the end of the month yet. <laughs> Hopefully I don't buy anything else. But you know, that that's probably going to go out the door. But yeah, if you're like me and you recently bought something in the month of January, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to chat with you guys. But with that being said, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Get this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run and of course i will talk to you guys soon in the next have a great one bye